Hello, this is Toby from Pangolin Photo Safaris and today we are talking about charter flights while on safari in Africa. Here are the top five questions we're most frequently asked about charter flights in Africa. Let's get to it. Question number one. What are the airports and landing strips like in Africa? Botswana has two main hubs on the safari circuit, being Kasani Airport in the north and Maun, which is to the southeast of the Okavango Delta. These are both international airports and will be more familiar to frequent air travelers with check-in desks, security checkpoints and tarmac runways. When flying into the more remote areas, the charter companies use runways of compacted earth and gravel, and sometimes tarmac, in locations close to the camp you're traveling to. These are dotted all around the country, each with their own distinct names and character. The flight times between these points can vary from a short 10-minute hop to a longer flight, sometimes up to two hours. Question number two. Why can't I take hard shell suitcases on the charter flights? This is probably the question we get asked the most, and here is pilot Jacques from Mac Air to show you around one of their planes to explain why it's soft-sided bags only on the charter flight. So one of the questions we frequently get asked is why we are not allowed to bring hard case luggage with. And the main reason is on this aircraft, we store the luggage in the cargo pod here at the bottom. And we have limited to size as well as weight and hard luggage. Most of the luggage will not fit in there. So that's why we limit you to soft luggage, which will fit in the cabin there. Also, we do have at the back of the aircraft, if we have a look here, we do have some space here for hand luggage. So what we often recommend to the guests, if they have valuable items such as camera equipment, we store it at the back over there where it won't get damaged in the pod. Question number three. Are all the flights direct between the destinations? To keep the costs of the flights down, the charter airlines will fill the planes with different clients leaving and heading to different destinations. This means that on the way to your camp of choice, you may well land at other airstrips to collect or drop off people. Don't worry, your pilot will know exactly where you're due to get off so you won't be left at the wrong airstrip by mistake. Question number four. When will I know the flight times for my charter? The charter companies are constantly adjusting the flight schedules and passenger manifests right up until the day before departure. They are fully aware of where you need to be next and at what time and adjust the schedules accordingly. For this reason, you will only be told of your exact departure time on the day before the flight. So, relax and enjoy your time on safari, safe in the knowledge that behind the scenes, everyone is working hard to make sure you're in the right place at the right time. Question number five. Can I pay for extra luggage? This is a massive concern for most people, as obviously you're only restricted to 20 kilograms per person in a soft-sided bag. And the policies will vary from company to company, so we advise you to check with your safari planner which charter airline they are using and what their exact policy is. At MacAir, the policy is, if you need to have more luggage weight over the 20 kilograms allocated to you, you will have to pay for the extra weight for each flight up to a total of 40 kilograms per person. This needs to be booked in advance, so please do speak to the person making your booking so they can arrange this for you. I hope this film's been useful. If you have any further questions, then please either leave them in the comment section down below or follow the link to contact us directly through the website. Thank you very much for watching.